Welcome back to Students of Gaming. Tone on the Sticks playing Red Dead Redemption. Going right up to the G. Right up to the Gubna. Have we, we, this is the first guy that we did missions for, right? Or is in, this someone in, new? In Blackwater. Right, yeah, in Blackwater. No, oh, shit. Right. What do you want, Marston? My what do you mean, what do you want, bitch? I've done what you asked. No, you fucking haven't. six head. This is the land of opportunity, Jeez. and I gave you the yeah, opportunity to save chin. your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? <laughs> that <laughs> haircut, man. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's just, boy, it's, it's not. Nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know. So, we're not going to kill him? It's I easy. I don't know where he's going with this. Yeah, he's completely full of shit, dude. See, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. So we are going to... Yes. Kill him. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now. Oh, uh, that's the problem. People with not great power. intellects are in power. We have to put Mr. Bandit this guy. to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? No. Now that you mention it, then what was that pretty speech in Edo? Yeah. <laughs> I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> oh, my God. Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. He's just All a right. dude who loves to pontificate. So, kidnapping... Uh, He's killing Dutch, What's his aren't name? We? Dutch's wife and son? No, they have your wife and son. Oh. John Marston's uh, Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Nice uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Gatling gun? A little fancier than a Gatling gun this time. Well, crank heated. shit. That is a water cooled machine gun. So you're just gonna go fucking wreck people. Yep. Everybody's getting around to, to see us off. I would not come towards the gun, I'd probably go inside. And you're a suit. It's the most dignified way to kill somebody. I suppose, yes, I suppose. Maybe that's why uh, Agent 47 always has a suit on. <laughs> well, the head dude's just something else. So there's even, no, even when a suit is out of place, he's wearing a suit. Machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads. There's no zoom on this thing. No nope. We have made incredible Ooh. progress the past few years. Is that what you call it? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> you should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. That light looked at me funny. 
Soon there will be no war we can't win until Vietnam. Mm, yeah. So that should be enough to draw him in. No mistake. Look at that sky, man. It's nice. It does look fucking beautiful. Me, Can't remember the last time I saw a sky like that. Might as well shoot that sky up a little bit. Destroy all them stars from here with a single metal bullet. All right, here we go. I think that's Is that it. Military forts. Tents. Excuse me. I can't even talk. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run him down if you have to. I feel like this is a trap. <laughs> Just a hunch. Maybe, maybe we'll get a bonus and those two in the car will die. No, it was less luck, probably. Wow, they're just fucking rolling in. Fingers on the triggers, boys. Uh. Yeah, just wait for him. You're just gonna run at us? Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that didn't seem like a great strategy on their part. Let me throw a grenade? Not far enough? Grenade. Yeah, who had the fucking noodle arm throwing the grenade? Jeez. Who's throwing the grenades? Because they're not, like, getting anywhere. Oof. Yikes. Have we been in any battles with that many grenades? No, not that many. There's a lot of dudes, too. This is way more dudes than uh, uh -oh. when we hit up Fort Mercer. Yeah. Reading. Cease fire and mount up. We're going after them. Cease fire and mount up. Uh, I will ceasing so fire. The... I mean, yeah. In the shot of the truck. I killed him. That dude did not retreat. <laughs> he didn't. Whoops. And then you destroyed his carcass. Or his own grenade did, or something. Yeah, cease fire when those three dudes are still shooting at us. Fordham. Get those men behind the rock. We should have done this a long time ago. Yeah, we should have just killed a ton of people a long time ago. Oh. Oh wow. Bad touch, bad touch. Yeah, dude, dude, you fucking stole the fuck down. Just driving fucking straight into them and shit. Yeah, but they're not worried about you, unfortunately. Yeah, they're probably hoping that you die. They can't really achieve much without, without you, though. Well, like, let's say you die doing this for them. You killed a ton of people anyways, and then they don't have to worry about you anymore. And they wanted you dead. Have... Yeah, that was your... Yeah, I think so. Shit. Boy, that's kind of difficult. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking guys. And they just, like, roll you right up to them, too. That's really rough. I, I, I think they're trying to kill you, because it's going to be one of those situations where they're like, uh, sorry, you survived Roughly at enough. the end. Hopefully yeah, right. hopefully they start you off at that I wasn't planning on you surviving this. I guess I'm going to have to kill you myself. Oh, whoop, sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, whoops-a-doodle. The game was rigged from the start? Yeah. Oh... Game was rigged from the start. Benny mode. That'd be an interesting way for this game to end. This your your children and wife are already dead. The game was rigged from the start. They're hiding behind the rocks. Gun them down. They're hiding behind the rocks. Gun them down. Oh, whoa, oh, ho, ho! Holy That's balls, close. yeah. Don't let him get too close. 
Oh, that's providing some excellent cover. God damn, that looks difficult. Yeah, it seems like that's ideal. Once everybody's like in front of you as opposed to on the side of you. That seems obvious, obviously. It's a huge difference. Whoa! Jesus. Perfect, perfect <laughs> fucking Jesus, throw. Fucking Christ. Perfect throw with that nade. Because that was a perfect, that was looking like a good run until that happened. Right? Wow. Guess I'll give it another go. That's brutal. Can you red dead in with the Gatling gun? No. Wow. Look out behind those rocks! The sucky part is that they didn't even take out the truck with you. So they're still alive. Jeez. And, and like you can't go after specific people because it seems like they all have the grenades. Yeah, some just having it somewhere. Is it is there like a way to tell other than they just Yeah, because they all kind of look the same from here. Yeah, Jeez. Let's just, nothing specific. Nice. Wow! It, it happened at the same place. There's not like a landmine, is there? No, you just gotta take these guys out as it's, early it's, as you can. It's shitty because in front, like you're at, you're usually at an angle where like half your fucking bullets are hitting the goddamn cab of the truck. Good lord. Yeah, yeah. You have to take them out really early. I'll give it one more go. All right. So I guess. The only thing I noticed is that instead of like worrying about that other dude who's like on the flank, I don't know if maybe you can just ignore him and then focus on forward, shooting forward. I don't, but I don't. Maybe he'd kill you if that happens. I don't know. The problem is that your comrades are not helpful. I think at all. You just gotta kill him as soon as you can. You know. Yeah. Because yeah. I think all you're right. I think grenades. everybody is a threat. Like that guy, I should have killed him. God, this is difficult. Well, it seems so. Wow. Like the Gatling gun, for it being like a machine gun that's firing like rapid fire, it still misses. <laughs> like it doesn't fire as fast as you might think it does. If I had a mouse, this would be easier instead of a thumbstick. <laughs> is he fucking dead? No. PC overlord. He somehow dodged all of your bullets. Yeah, like these dudes. Just like if you can ignore them and focus on those dudes, because those are the things the dudes that are killing you. But yeah, then the guy shooting you from behind. Oh, okay. Well, that worked out. Not only were they the ones doing it, they had fucking arms and accuracy. Quick, do something about that wagon. Shoot it. Oh, sh okay, that was easy. Yeah, I was expecting <laughs> a little more resistance there. How is that dude not dead? Oh, now he's dead. Sweet. Hopefully this is a checkpoint. More explosives. But this one's story-based, right? Yes. Nice. Yes. There you go, Tone. Oh. This is kind of important. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm just afraid. That this truck will not keep you protected. Uh. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor Dutch no longer looks quite so kindly to his students. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. 
Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. Well, then why did you even, like, I, I know he's, like, pissed, but that was stupid of him. What if I said no? What the fuck do you think would happen if you'd say no? They'll just be like, oh, okay, that's fine, go ahead. Of course they're gonna bring your wife into it. They already are holding her, like, pseudo-captive or whatever. So, should we... I do this, or should no, we do let's... this on the next episode? Yeah, no, we're gonna do this on the next episode, because this is the next mission. So you're the cool. Alright, well, thanks for joining us today. Yep, and until next time, class dismissed. I'm gonna be the one that's gonna kill him.